Right. Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by and checking out my channel. Um, it's Rage Master speaking, I'm showing you the version 2 of my Poseidon uh, drilling platform design. I've made a few changes here or there, I've done a few demonstrations as well just to prove a few concepts. I was just going to basically just run you through um, the changes, some of the things that I've discovered between uh, the last video. So if you've seen the last video, uh, you probably recognise the design, it hasn't changed much, but I've made some uh, additional feature designs. I got rid of the ugly clunky bridge at the back and it's, and it's going to be much more sort of like a, a deck based design. I'm currently deciding on what to put at the back of the ship, it's gonna, I think it's going to be another um, landing deck. Uh, but other than that, I'm going to run you through the technical capabilities now of this drill, which have been improved since the previous version. Uh, you're looking at the hole, but this is um, a hole that I've dug in, this is with a spiral access ramp, which is a pretty unique feature of the drill design here. Essentially what you do is draw uh, bore a central shaft and widen it out, and then once you've done, the, uh, once you've done that you can then actually scoop out um, basically uh, rifling like, a, like a, in, a, in a gun or uh, a thread in, in the inside of a nut and that's basically how this works so once you've drilled down to depth obviously your drills claimed a lot of the ore uh, without having to do any manual work but then it might not be the best thing to just reposition and drill a new hole to claim you might want to send smaller vehicles down just to do the final clean up so yeah, I haven't actually managed to develop a wheeled vehicle that can get down this channel yet because I totally suck at wheeled vehicles, I've decided that at the moment, so I need to improve my methods. Um, maybe it's just difficult, I don't know you guys, maybe you guys can advise me if you've got any methods. But yeah, that's the hole basically. Um, it's 100 metres now, drill depth, because when I originally built it, it went down to about 65 meters, and that took me to that took me to about here on the ice lake with the gold deposit. But uh, I, and just seeing that white marker with with gold that I just couldn't reach. Oh god! Oh, it just made me want to oh, pull my hair out. So I just basically overhauled the drill there, and uh, it goes to the full 100 meter depth. It does it doesn't really do enough practically to get the gold, but uh, it does allow you to reach the gold at least. So. Yeah, I'll show you now, um, literally how it all sort of sets up, I'm not going to drill anything in this video unless you really want me to, just send a link in the comments if you want a, an hour and a half long video on <laughs> on the entire drill process. Um, like I said in the previous video, if I, if I stay with this build long enough, my intentions are to set up massive arrays of timers which are going to basically control uh, the full process from start to finish. Um, so a lot of people who thought maybe that these things would explode, but uh, it hasn't really exploded. Not for all the tests that I've done. I mean, you do have to set it up right to make sure that your drill's vertical. But uh, once you've done that, it's all hunky dory and you get massive, lovely holes like this. Oh, what a lovely hole! Mm. Also, I did um, deck out the uh, the cabin with some um, M Masters configurable automatic LCDs. If you're not using them in your builds, go and get it's mod. Well, it's a script now and start installing these panels into your designs. I, I'm more likely to uh, keep and use any design that's got this kind of setup in because I just, um, it's just the best way to play really. Um, still a bit more work to do on those. Decided to destroy the central sort of walkway in the middle of this hangar and clear it up and make it a bit more open plan. and. Uh, as I said before, I, have, I haven't got any solid plans for the uh, the rear end of the ship yet. I'll just leave leave uh, some advice in the comments if you think you might have any good ideas. Um, I'll just do a quick uh, float around for you so you guys can see how it moves and stuff and lengthen it out. As I get rid of the back, um, the bridge from the previous video, the bridge is gone because I basically needed more room for pistons to make the drill go further. So uh, let me just jump into the seat. Uh, the currently this build uses one mod and the only modded block in the game is the seat and that's be the, re the only reason why I've got this seat in is so that you get a really nice view to the uh, to the to the drilling area. So you can actually see through your feet on this one. Uh, the Keen software seat, um, it's got all stuff in the way and consoles and stuff. The Keen don't want you to have a view down when you sit near the cockpit so um, let's use the passenger seat, obviously, but then obviously every time you want to interact with the 
uh, steering controls you have to use a remote control block and go into a menu and click a few more things and uh, I wanted it less convoluted obviously if you did want to download this um, this creation into your world when I finally got it up on the workshop when it's near finished um, all you need to do is plonk down your passenger seat if you're happy to deal with out azimuth's cool seat so oh let's go back let's see what we're going to do let's, let's, I'll do the hinge on the drill next let's go take a look I've got some wheeled stuff here just to make it so the pistons just don't go crazy or anything like that or start rocking too much. Uh, that's a new addition also. I might be worthy of a mention as well. I completely abandoned the uh, the eject system for clearing rock. Um, the vulnerabilities of that system was basically that. I just couldn't clear enough from the drill heads fast enough. I think I had two connectors on eject and uh, quickly figured out that you needed a lot more to clear such a, um, a highly producing drilling uh, operation. So that's gone. Basically it just pipes down now through the rotors. Oh, it's much, much more elegant. Although I do miss the sound, the industrial sound of clunking or hitting the, the, the ceiling when you're in the cabin. That, that was cool, but uh, oh well. Some things must be sacrificed for performance and that was it. So, yeah, so that's basically where I'm at with it main, mainly. I wanted to show you guys that crazy, it's perfectly cylindrical and spirally grooved holes are possible with a single vehicle, with a single drill operation. Um, hopefully you like the design. If you're interested in maybe jumping into my world one of these days, maybe you want to help out with this build specifically. I am trying to look for somebody who's good with programming blocks. So, uh, and if anybody with a custom script who thinks they could uh, automate the processes that I needed to get my drill head to do, to carve this out. Um, there's going to be some intelligent people out there and we might be able to give me some advice and I'd, I'd really appreciate it. So get in touch, leave a comment. Um, hope you enjoyed the vid. I'm going to be finishing this build off and I intend to get this on the workshop within the next week. I um, hope you guys have a good week and weekend. Catch you guys soon. Bye.